Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading uh, for uh, the zodiac sign of Cancer. This is going to be for the end of April going into May. Uh, we're going to take a look at your overall energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. Then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you, uh, what their overall energies are, and then we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. So before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing another giveaway because I'm getting close to hitting um, 5,000 subscribers. So um, yeah, so I will uh, again choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me. Uh, the way you enter this giveaway is by uh, hitting the subscription button and notification bell, um, giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 5K. Um, so once I reach 5,000, I will go through all the comments, choose two winners, and make an announcement on the uh, community tab. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, either you could email me or you could leave your email in the uh, comments section and um, we'll set up the personal reading. So like I said, I will be doing this at an increment of every 1,000 subscribers. So once I get close to 6,000, I will make an announcement for that. And if any of you guys are interested in the personal private reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Over energies for Cancer regarding love and the person that they're connecting with. What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer expect regarding love and the person that they're connecting with here? for the end of April going into May. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Gemini Libra, King of Wands, Leo Energy, Aries Sagittarius, the Star, Aquarius Energy, Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So we have the judgment card on the bottom of the deck, then the lovers, the devil, uh, the moon, the two of cups and the six of cups. So someone here is obsessing over an ex. Someone is wanting a second chance here with someone. Someone's wanting to bring this back to life. I don't know if someone's dealing with a toxic individual, but there is an obsession here with someone. There could be this energy of right now not giving to someone and just giving to yourself and trying to heal, but I feel like someone here wants to apologize to someone, sort of make things right. Let's see, got some more messages here. All right, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. What is going on with the Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Someone's definitely wanting to apologize. Someone's definitely wanting to offer a cup to someone. So someone is ready for some equal give and take. Maybe there was an, uh, in the past. Tell me about the King of Swords. You have judgment here again. So someone's definitely wanting some sort of second chance here maybe someone wants to come clean about something tell me about this king of wands 
You have the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's passionate about starting a new beginning here with someone. Someone wants to heal. Someone's seeking some sort of hope in the hopeless situation, maybe. Queen of Swords. All right. Someone, so someone's seeing someone as a wanton. So we have a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords. So we have a pair here. Tell me about the uh, Page of Cups. So someone's thinking about someone heavily. You have the Magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. What's going on with the Hierophant? And then the Four of Swords. So someone took some time out to reevaluate. Took some time out to reevaluate, took some time out to heal. Just basically took a break to really figure out like what is it that someone really wants from someone, perhaps. Someone's having stress and anxiety here, whether someone will allow the second chance to happen. Yeah, it just seems like someone's missing someone. Someone's heavily thinking about someone. Someone's uh, obsessing over someone here. Definitely obsessing over an ex. Uh, Six of Pentacles, um, Knight of Cups, uh, King of Swords being clarified by judgment. Okay, uh, King of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Wands. The uh, Star being clarified by the Queen of Swords. We also have the Page of Cups being clarified by the uh, Magician. And then the Hierophant being clarified by the Four of Swords. So someone's trying to manifest communication here with someone. Maybe someone here wasn't ready for a higher level of commitment, and now they are. You know, I feel like maybe someone didn't express their feelings towards someone. This could be a soulmate connection. Like I said, there are two pairs here. You have the lovers and then the um, two of cups, six of cups here. You have a devil here too, so... I don't know if there, this was a toxic situation or it's just like someone's obsessed with someone. Or stop, like someone can't stop thinking about someone here. Um, tell me uh, about Cancer as a person. What are their current over energies towards Cancer? What are their true feelings and intentions towards Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? One sec, let me just plug this in here really quickly. Okay. We've got one more shuffle here. All right, Cancer. We have the two of wands, queen of cups, interesting. We have a queen of cups and then we have a king of cups here. So we have another pair. Page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, five of wands. The star here also. Aquarius energy, seven of swords, and the six of swords, okay. It seems like someone's trying to get away from someone. You know, I, I feel like someone here is deciding, so maybe someone are already offered some sort of reconciliation here. But I feel like someone here is still deciding. They're trying to figure out whether this is going to be successful or not. This is also stressing someone out. I feel like someone is not trusting someone's offer with the Seven of Swords here. Um, Yeah, it seems like there is a conflict here. I don't know. So I don't know if someone here is also dealing with someone new. It seems like this king might be a separate person. 
Yeah. So it seems like someone has a choice to make between two people. And I feel as though this queen might not be trusting neither of them. So I feel like someone here is dealing with an ex and also feel like someone here is dealing with someone new. Um, all right, what's going on with this uh, Queen of Cups? Tell me about this Queen of Cups here. Oh, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's trying to figure out who to choose. Um, something fell out here. Okay, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups. So someone is in this, in this like reassessing and contemplation stage right now. And I feel like it's this queen. So we, oh, something flipped over again. Okay. Uh, High Priestess in the Five of Wands. Cancer Pisces energy. So like, uh, so we have two pairs here. Uh, we have pairs. Uh, we have King of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. And then we have this outside person, uh, the King of Wands. Um, so it seems as though this this pair, um, this King and this Queen separated, and someone could have been dating, uh, been dating around, and then this King of Wands is interested in this Queen. But now this King, this past King, is coming back for reconciliation here. Um, and I feel as though, um, this queen is really not trusting someone or maybe both people, uh, because uh, this queen is in this contemplation stage right now, trying to figure out who to, who to choose. Um, yeah, I feel like this queen right now has taken a step back, taking a step back from the drama, not really speaking to any of these individuals, um, try, basically trying to figure it out and not to let anyone else's, you know, opinions affect uh, this queen's decision. The star, eight of wands. Tell me about the seven of swords. Ace of uh, pentacles. Someone is not trusting this offer from this king because this king might be in this might be uh, non-committal, maybe, or that this king might be um, deceptive or is lying. I feel like this queen is not trusting it because uh, I feel like this queen feels like this uh, king of wands might not be um, a commitment person or might be someone that's sort of like, you know, someone that gets bored easily or someone that jumps around, someone that plays around. Because that King of Wands, it, it could be a very, very passionate energy, uh, an energy where it gets, uh, this person gets bored very easily. All right, tell me about the Six of Swords. You have to hire Fend again. Yeah, it seems as though someone here is trying to make a decision. So I feel like someone here is in a bit of this player energy. I'm feeling like this is the King of Wands. Yeah. Um, so I feel like, I feel like there are two offers here, one with a reconciliation and then one with um, someone, a new person with an uh, offer here. Uh, but uh, uh, this queen is not trusting this offer from this new person. I feel like someone here wants to move back towards an old person, a marriage. Perhaps you, um, this queen and this king was probably married at one point, maybe. It, it doesn't have to be marriage or ju just uh, you guys have been together for a very, very, very long time. Um, all right. Yeah, it seems like someone has a choice to make between old love and new love here. Um, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups. So a lot of contemplating here, a lot of daydreaming maybe, trying to really figure out um, who to choose. Someone that's taken a step back from the drama. Um, so someone here is really not speaking at this point. But I feel like someone here is eventually going to speak. But I feel like someone's trying to seek some sort of guidance, maybe from the universe, maybe someone's talking to psychics, maybe someone's watching a tarot reading, 
uh, something to help with the decisions uh, so that there's like, you know, a good outcome with someone. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and then the Six of Swords in the Hierophant. But it seems like, I'm, I'm feeling like this, this Queen is not trusting this King's offer here. Uh, because the, the, this King of Wands has an Ace of Pentacles here, but I feel like so, someone here might be moving back to a past person. Like I said, um, some this King here is wanting reconciliation with this Queen. So what I'm refer when I'm saying the King and, and the Queen, it, it, it's it's the pairs that I'm talking about: the two swords and the two Queen, uh, the the two cups. Um, so, um. All right, let's see what's going on here. What is the possible outcome and advice regarding um, um, the love situation here for Cancer? For the end of uh, April going into May, what does Cancer need to know? What can Cancer expect? swords here so we have the nine of swords here so someone's really stressed out about possibly making a decision between two people judgment we have judgment again so we have judgment three times so i feel like someone's pushing for reconciliation here and i feel like someone here i feel like this queen is taking their sweet old time trying to make a decision you see two of wands someone's trying to decide between two people six of wands the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. A lot of fire energy I'm seeing here in the outcome. Yeah, lots, lots of fire. So Cancer, you might be dealing with the fire sign maybe, perhaps. Well, the, especially in the King of Wands' end. Um, doesn't have to be. I mean, you might have some fire, uh, fire placement or, or, or air or, yeah. Um, so, uh, place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. I don't know if you're this, uh, queen or this king or, or this king of wands here. So, like, it, uh, like I said, place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped in reverse, okay? Um, it is a general reading. It's not like a personal reading where I'm, where I'm tapping into what, you know, one person's energy. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I feel like someone's having the toughest time making a decision. I feel like there's this energy of like not deciding at all and just like maybe like someone has this like um, idea of like, you know, it's maybe I'm just better off alone than actually making a decision here. Uh, maybe because uh, you fear uh, hurting uh, both of these people's uh, feelings because I, I feel like... A, there's a fear of maybe with the Six of Wands, like bruising these kings' uh, egos. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Tell me about this uh, judgment card. Tell me about judgment. Oh, oh. Um, okay. Three just flew out. So we have the Four of Cups with the judgment card. Um, two of Wands with Naya Swords, Gemini Energy, Aquarius Libra, Temperance with the uh, Six of Wands. Okay, let's get one more shuffle in. All right, tell me about this wheel. Three of Pentacles, okay. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. We got the King of Swords again. Mm. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Lovers. Someone's still in this energy of trying to figure it out, trying to decide. But uh, I feel like this King of Swords might not be waiting around. Yeah, because I, 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 this King of Swords has this Nine of, Pent and Nine of Pentacles again. Uh, 
Well, it seems as though what I'm getting here, if someone doesn't make a decision, this queen between these two people, I feel like um, both of these people are going to run away. Uh, they're not, they're no longer waiting. I, I feel like it's uh, someone here is taking uh, forever to make a, uh, make, taking forever to make a decision. Uh, yeah, it just seems like, you know, there's definitely third party energy going on. Definitely like love triangle going on here. Uh, but it's oh, it's one with a past person with an ex and then a, a, a new person too. So someone's stressing out about making a decision here. I am feeling like someone here is really sort of like depressed or sad that someone offered someone um, you know, a cup or offer someone reconciliation, but someone didn't really take it. Someone took time to decide, but I feel like someone might run off and not wait for that decision anymore. I feel like both people are going to run off, to be quite honest. Um, yeah. Like, do you feel like there's this fear of maybe bruising someone's ego? Um, there might be someone that be uh, might have a bit of an ego, and I feel like this is a king of wands. Um, I feel like this person is being super, super impatient. I, I do feel that there is this like change uh, here coming. Um, yeah, I do feel like I feel like the change is in regards to someone taking a long time to make a decision between two people. So the universe is going to do for you that sort of thing. Um, yeah, someone here is taking too long to decide. And someone else here is just like, oh, I'm just, maybe I'm just better off alone because someone just can't decide. Um, it seems like someone here is not trusting someone. This queen is not trusting this king of wands. And also, it seems like this queen also wants to move back towards an old person, but still can't make a decision because we have all these twos here. Um, so, Cancer, this was your general love reading for the end of April going into May. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.